Hey guys, welcome back. We are gonna wait for some people to hop on. I'm gonna prep my skin, all of the good things. So, get that going. And we're gonna wait for some people to hop on. Oh, let me go grab this really quick. Oh. Okay. Hey, Heather. Hey, Dakota. Make sure you guys say hey when you hop on. I was going to wait and go live tonight, and then I was like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and do it. Um, that way I can actually enjoy my makeup and not just have to take it off because I don't have any plans today, like, at all. So, um, hey, Addison. Welcome, guys. Make sure you all hop on, say hello, or when you hop on, say hello, and make sure you hit that share button. It helps so much. Hey, Hannah. All right, so I went ahead and sprayed my face with some Behold Setting Spray, and now I'm just going over my skin with, um, what do you call this stuff? Primer. <laughs> Primer. Um, ah, dang it, I was going to make a TikTok. I was going to do a before and after TikTok, and I forgot. Totally forgot. But I did record, um, I have a first impression video that I need to edit on the new Forever Young tool by Vanity Planet. And I also recorded me this morning doing my morning skincare, just like the quick, um, the quick part using this tool. So I've got both of those videos I need to edit and upload for you guys. I love this so much, so much. So if you missed my last video, I believe it was last night. Um, this is literally so, so good. So amazing for your skincare. Plus it, um, is $200 and with my code, it is only 52 so that's not like another really good reason. So um, what I'm gonna do today is show you guys just a quick and easy BB cream with pressed powder um, routine, if I can get my words out of my mouth. So um, I know a lot of the times I use Liquid Touch and you guys know I love Liquid Touch. It's my ride or die, tried and true. Um, and then yesterday, well, that's sad. Not that it really matters. They look the same. But yesterday, we used a spray foundation. Um, absolutely love that. But today, I do want to switch it up and go in with BB cream. We don't do this often, so I really want to show you guys this combo because some of y'all are dry skin girls, and some of y'all are quick mamas on the go and just need something a lot quicker than what I do um, on a normal daily basis. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments or send me a message, whichever you prefer. Um, before we came out with the mattifying primer, I did not, um, prime my face when I use this because I'm super oily. So when I would use a silicone based primer for me, it was just so much slipping and sliding on my face that I just couldn't, couldn't do it. So I would just use this by itself and let this kind of act as a primer. But now you guys with the matte primer, BB cream has like become one of my best friends. I love it so much. Jen, I'm telling you, it is so good. And it is so, it feels so freaking good. Like, I look forward to it every morning and every night now. Um, and like I said, my boyfriend did get a hold of it. And he just sat there and laid in bed and just, like, rubbed it all over his face because it felt so good. So, it's such a great tool. It's a great tool. Like I said, I did record um, a video that I will edit and upload for you guys showing that. I'll get it done today. Um, and like I said, it's $199.99. <laughs> and my link in the description of this video discounts it to only 52 bucks and a lot of you have already grabbed it um it will sell out there's no doubt in my mind it will sell out so definitely make sure you go grab it and if it came in different colors i would tell you guys but it is only the white so let's go ahead and pop on some bb cream i am the shade honey so i am pretty tan i could honestly probably go down a notch um but i'm going to stick with honey i think honey's good and honestly i don't own the darker shade so um so yeah she a little light, but that's all right. So what BB cream is going to do, if you've never used a BB cream, it is going to be extremely light coverage on its own. Um, so on your no makeup makeup days, which is kind of what I'm going for today, um, this is going to be perfect. Now it is not going to give you coverage. So if you're expecting this like magical, you know, stuff to happen and come and cover all of your flaws and imperfections, it's not going to happen. Okay. This is quick hydrated, mom on the go, or just, you know, 
some people just have gorgeous complexions and they can wear this by itself. Um, which honestly, you guys, I've worked really hard on my skin. So as long as I'm not broken out, I can actually wear this by itself and be fine. Hey, Linda. So what I'm doing is just putting a little bit. This is actually the powder concealer brush. This is one of my favorite ways to apply this product. Um, and I also like to contour, cream contour with this brush as well. Um, I have a different one that I do that with, but so what I'm doing is I'm just buffing it into my skin. And like I showed you guys earlier, if you're just hopping on, um, we did use the mattifying primer underneath. So this is going to give you extremely light coverage. It's really going to wake up your skin. It is super hydrating. You can already tell like we are shiny. So if you like the hydrated glowy look, which some people do, um, this would definitely be a product for you. Now, what I am going to do is conceal let me blend it down my neck here. Conceal and also um, set with powder. So we're actually going to get a little bit more coverage than what we're working with right now. But for right now, we're just buffing out, hey Annabelle, that BB cream. Like I said, this is in the shade Honey. So this is my tan girl shade. And I honestly probably could go down a shade. Um, but I believe there's like six shades of BB cream. So they're pretty versatile, to be honest with you. Um, they are very versatile. So... There is BB cream. This is great for just like a beach day if you're just wanting a little bit of a light coverage. I mean, like my skin already looks so much better just from BB cream. So I'm a big fan of BB cream. I just don't wear it often because I'm, I'm a full coverage girl, but like at the beach and stuff, it's so nice to wear. Okay, let's go in with concealer. I'm going to use the shade Velour still. Probably a little light, but it's okay. I'm just not going to use as much because once again, we're doing like a... um a lighter kind of makeup look. And what I'm going to do is use the, what was that used on? I was going to use the opposite end of this. Um, this is, like I said, this is a powder concealer brush is what it's called on the website, but um, you can really use it for whatever. And I think it works great with the liquid foundation as well as concealers, powders. It honestly is like a little magical brush that can be used with anything. So what I'm gonna do is buff out that stick foundation as concealer, and then I'm gonna blend it all out with a big end here in a minute. So we're just gonna make sure that we get all those small areas with the concealer side. And this brush is so great for travel too because you can use this as an eyeshadow brush which I'm a huge fan of, huge fan of. I've actually done that on here. It's been a hot minute, but I have done it. So we're gonna buff out that T-zone. I still like a little bit of brightening um, in my T-zone because we are concealing and doing so much right here. I don't want us to just have super white eyes. I want us to be able to be super blended and even. So I still put the concealer everywhere else. So. What I'm gonna do now with this end of the brush is just buff everything kind of together. Just like this. So it kind of buffs that concealer stick foundation all together with that BB cream, which is what I want. I don't want any like crazy bright eyes or anything like that, but you can see like I'm bright and I'm awake and I'm concealed and that's what I'm going for. So what I'm gonna do now is powder. So I'm still gonna go with the Behold Setting Powder for underneath my eyes and in my T-zone. And we're still gonna use the damp sponge. I'm a big fan of the damp sponge, you guys. If y'all have not caught on to that yet, huge fan. And so I'm just gonna pop that right under here. Now, if you really wanted to be quick and on the go, you could set your entire face with the Behold um, Translucent Setting Powder. It is translucent, you guys, totally translucent. It um, looks a little like creamy when you get the product, but once you melt it into your skin, you're gonna notice that it's not colorful. It is colorless. Hey, Tanya. Okay, sorry, I got something in my eyelash. So we're just gonna press that in, and this is where we're gonna start getting that really pretty airbrush finish. So even though we have a very light coverage product on our face, we're still gonna get that really pretty airbrushed finish. And once again, this sponge is damp, so it's really gonna melt that translucent setting powder into um, my skin. So now, y'all, I swear this eyelash is doing its own little thing. I can feel it. It's one of my top lashes that's curled completely downwards. 
crazy. Okay, so if you guys can see, this is more of your lighter coverage. You can see I still don't have any pressed powders. You can see all my little breakout spots that haven't really cleared up yet. You can still see them, okay? Um, so this is light coverage, y'all. I don't know what this eyelash is doing, but it's driving me absolutely bonkers. I haven't used that word in a, like, probably ever, honestly. <sighs> but first time for everything, right? Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is go in with the pressed powder in the shade Satin, okay? This is where my coverage is gonna come from. So I am gonna use, um, let's use, I'm gonna use this brush. This is the Sonia Kashuk brush from Target. I absolutely love this. I will link this on my like to know it for you guys in case you're wanting just like a cheap brush alternative. Um, I believe it was like $9. Like super, super good deal. And we're gonna buff this onto my skin. So this is one of those days where I'm not looking for like crazy coverage. I just want a little bit of makeup on my face just to kind of make me look a little bit more awake and a little bit more put together. Um, not necessarily full glam or anything like that. So like I said, the coverage is light coverage until we add the powder. And now we're starting to get some good coverage. Um, still more medium coverage. This isn't going to be like a full coverage, you know, uh, makeup look by any means. Now, if you wanted it more coverage or you wanted to get more coverage, you could use a brush um, like one of these two in your powder and really stipple that powder on and get a full coverage makeup look. But that's really not what I'm going for today. So, um... What we're gonna do now is go in with bronzer and we're gonna bronze up the skin. If you missed my last couple videos, this bronzer is sold out, but the pressed powder in the shade Twill is the way to go. So if you're looking for a more natural makeup look, this is definitely the route for you. Um, like I said, I am oily, but as long as I've got the mattifying primer, I am like good to go. Um, I'm actually really tan, holy moly. Um, it's different when your face gets tan. Like my body is always super tan, but my face has been getting super tan. That's a really pretty dog. It's a big white fluffy dog, like husky-ish, I guess. So um, we're gonna buff this on. I love dogs, y'all. I love them so much. Okay, so there is that. Now we're gonna go in with blush in the shade Supple, which is my favorite, you guys. I could use something different, um, but honestly, this is my fave. So I'm gonna grab the Vanity Planet brush. I'm so nosy. This is why I have to keep those blinds closed, you guys. Like, I have to keep them closed. So I'm gonna go in here and tap this out. Just like so. Super, super pretty. Nala is good. So um, this has not really been, I don't think my mama has said a word about it, but I'll tell y'all. Um, so my dog completely knocked my mom over. She was chasing another dog, got too close to my mom and literally just ran straight into my mom. So <clears throat> up until yesterday, we thought my mom had torn her ACL and her MCL. Well, technically Nala tore it, um, and was going to need surgery. So we found out yesterday she did not need surgery. So, um, my mom isn't in, in a full leg brace though, like from her hip down to her ankle, um, to stabilize that. So the hard part right now is Nala is in the, we have like a big pin for them. And I say pin, I don't like that word. It's like nice. It's like a really nice dog pin. It's huge. Um, custom made dog house, all this thing, all this stuff. Um, but that's where Nala is during the daytime. And she's actually not a very good outdoor dog. Her body can't really handle the heat. So it is in the woods. Um, but mom puts her out there for a little bit, you know, just cause she needs a break with the brace and everything. Um, but now because she's getting pinned up, she comes out like a bat out of hell and has like all this energy. So it's, it's a struggle right now. And, um, I can't bring her here because her anxiety is too high to be here. She hates it here. Um, so yeah, she's just, it's her. Y'all, it was my maintenance man, like walked right like at my window, which means he's going to come back and see me and be like, what is this girl doing? But it's okay. He knows me. He comes to clean my drains every month. Um, but anyway, so yeah, Nala has, um, Nala's, it's hard. You know, when you're one year old, she's a year old and, um, you know, you've got all this energy, but you can't because, you know, my mom has a jacked up leg. It's just crazy. It's absolutely crazy, but she's good. She's good. Um, it was, it was kind of scary. Like I, of course, felt like it was all my fault because it's my dog, you know, um, but yeah, it was just a freak accident. Mom was in the yard getting stuff out of the car and not in the yard getting stuff out of the car, but she had gotten stuff out of the car and was walking, you know, toward the house. And, um, 
and Nala was just chasing the other dog and the other dog cut right around mom and Nala just nailed mom. Um, so what I'm looking at really quick is I want to see what's in stock because there's this eyeshadow I really want to use on to make sure it's in stock for you guys. Yeah, I was, I definitely was wanting her to eventually like to live with me. Um, but she's got two other dogs at my parents and they have like an unlimited amount of like space to run and she likes to go outside. She loves to be outside, even though she can't physically handle it because the heat and she knows when she's got to come in, but she just paces back and forth here and she wouldn't eat when she was here. She wouldn't drink when she was here. Um, and then she just stood at the door. She always wanted to go outside. You know, it's a new place. She wanted to like investigate and stuff. And I totally get that. But, um, you know, I, I don't have a pen to put her in. I don't have a fenced in yard. So I also can't get up every five minutes and take her out. Um, because I also have work I have to do too. So it's a very like, it's stressful. I wish I had a fenced in yard. When I have a fenced in yard, I'm going to try to take her. Um, so hopefully I'll have a fenced in yard within the next like six months. That's the plan. Um, but you never know. Never know. Okay. So I've got this website pulled up. My website pulled up actually. And we are going to use the, um, I have a string. I have a string. Um, we're going to use the liquid foundation. This is totally a liquid shadow, not a foundation. Liquid shadow in the shade Reverend, along with some other pressed shadows as well. So, it's my goal is to make this a super light and airy look. Once again, it's like a fresh face, medium coverage, not a lot of coverage today. Um, not an insane amount of highlight. We're not doing liner or lashes. I'm talking this is a good everyday makeup look for literally anyone. Um, so, what I'm going to do is grab the blending brush and go in with the shade Timid just to make sure we are good and set for shadow. She is, she's definitely happier there, you guys. They live in the woods and there's, and, and mama's got a dog that's two, maybe three. Um, so he still has a lot of baby in him too. And, and he's a pointer mix. So he's got like all this crazy energy and loves to run. Well, she's a lab, so obviously she likes to run. And so the two of them together, they wear each other out. Um, and so they come in, they crash, and they take a nap. And when they get up, they're like ready to go again. Um, so it's cute. And taking her completely out of that environment, you guys, is stressful for her and me. And me. Um, she is definitely my dog. I'm going to talk and do this at the same time. Um, I'm going to go in with Hesitant, this one right here. Is that Hesitant? No, that ain't hesitant, girl. What is that? It's understood. We're going in with understood. And hesitant's next to it. So actually what I'm gonna do first is go with hesitant and then understood. Um, so she is definitely my dog. It's kind of like a running joke right now um, because she's high maintenance. The vet said she's not allowed to be left outside right now um, because her, like, her pads on the bottom of her feet sweat. And that like shows right there that that dog is not meant to be outside for long periods of time, especially in North Carolina heat because it is like 100 degrees here every day right now. Um, hey, Lindsay. So she's just not an outdoor dog. So she's automatically high maintenance with that. Well, then you guys, she kept getting worms and we couldn't figure out why she kept getting worms. So mom kept taking her to the vet over and over again and come to find out now she's got to be on prescription dog food after mom was already told to cook her chicken and rice for like three weeks straight. So <laughs> if y'all know me, I am high maintenance. I am a self-sufficient high maintenance girl though. I pay for everything myself. Um, but you know, I'm high maintenance. I do have anxiety and all that good stuff. And y'all, I swear she is the dog version of me. She is straight up the dog version of me. It is insane. Um, my mom will call me and be like, Oh, guess what your dog did today? And I was like, Oh, that sounds like something I would do. Um, it's pretty comical. I grew up in the country and I moved back after living in the middle of a small city. Yes. Yes. It's hard. Um, you know, I grew up in a city the majority of my life. You know, I grew up in a small little town. Not a small, it's actually quite a large town, but still like in, more in the city, you know, five minutes from a grocery store kind of thing. And then I lived on a golf course, um, like two minutes from a McDonald's in a grocery store. Like I lived, I pretty much grew up in the city. And then we moved to the country when I was in high school. Um, and this is understood on top of hesitant, by the way. And um, like, I personally love it in this city because that's, that's what I know. That's like normal to me. Um, so I totally understand people who grow up in the country and then they come to the city and they're like, oh my God, this is too much for me. Um, I totally understand it. So, I mean, yeah, she's, she's definitely my dog. 
Um, she has crazy high energy. She's a lab, so labs naturally do. Um, but they are such good dogs, you guys. And she honestly, she's such a love bug. She wants to be next to you, like, all the time. All the time. So, like, when she lays down, she wants your attention. Like, she she will literally beg and beg and beg for your attention until she finally gets tired enough to just go lay down on the floor and go to sleep. Um, so, it's actually, it's she's she's cute. I love her. Um, Lauren, we actually haven't had the issue with our other labs. So I grew up with labs. We actually bred our labs a couple of times. Um, I've had labs since I was born. So we've had a chocolate lab, two chocolate labs, a black lab, and then I bought Nala, which was a yellow lab. Um, and I'm going to pick up really quick. I'm going to pick up, what is this? Agile. Make sure I get my names right. This one right here. Um, all of our other labs have always lived outside. They've never... I mean, they've come inside here and there, but I mean, Brandy, our first lab, like she slept outside. Like she was self-sufficient. She, she was fine. Um, Tucker was fine. Maggie was fine. Nala's really the first one that we've actually ever had any heat issues with. Um, all of our dogs have always stayed outside and, you know, they come in and visit and stuff. And at night, you know, some of them would come in and sleep. But like, I mean, growing up, all of our dogs really, really pretty much stayed outside. So... Um, I don't really know. I don't know if it's a common thing or not, but I know um, that Nala does struggle with the sweating pads and things like that. Um, she's she's just a little high maintenance. That's okay. Happens to the best of us. Yes, I'm a social butterfly. Now, in that aspect, though, sometimes I just like to be home and be by myself. Um, but for the most part, yes, I am a social butterfly. I love people, um, but I don't like large crowds. Large crowds, like, huh. Um, not a huge fan of large crowds, but, um, I do love socialization. I love people. I love meeting new people, all of the things. Like I love it all. All right. So what I'm going to do now is pick up this fluffy crease brush and pick up some of that understood and dust it back and forth just on the edges of that agile to make sure that we're good and blended there. So once again, this is meant to be a really light and airy kind of feminine look and agile can be built up to be super dark or you can leave it super light. Um, but once again, I'm just kind of going in and buffing out those edges. Oh, so my aunt had a lab too. Her name was Jessie and she was a chocolate lab. Um, oh God, don't ever throw sticks to your dog. She had to get a stick removed from the roof of her mouth. It was just, it was disgusting. Um, which, you know, I say that, and my dog, of course, picks up sticks and runs with them, which terrifies me because of that. But anyways, so my aunt had a chocolate lab, and she stayed out. She Well, she slept with my aunt. Um, but, you know, she stayed outside during the day while my aunt was at work. So I really don't know um, if the whole, you know, sweating pad thing is um, a lab thing or not. I really don't know. Or if it's just good old Carolina heat. All right, so now what I'm going to do is pick up a little bit of Agile on this brush. Um... I usually use that flat definer brush, but for this, I don't really need to be precise by any means because I really just want everything kind of blown out and pretty and feminine. So there is Agile on the lowers. <gasps> Thanks, I do like this, this is pretty. Um, and these all should be available. I need to link a bunch of stuff for you guys, like all of my links from the past like week, all of my looks rather from the past week. Um, I have not put them on the website, so I really need to get that done. Like I've been slacking hardcore. And then I'll pick up a little bit of Hesitant and pop that on. It really makes it this really pretty like lavender color. And I like it like a whole lot. And then y'all know sometimes I like to go in with that little brush from Morphe. Let me spot clean it. This one right here. And then just kind of dust out those edges. It's got no product on it. It is a little stained, but it's got no product on it. So just like that. Okay. Now, where's my nose? I swear. It's like always running or itching or something. It's great. Um... Oh, here we go. We're going to go in with the Liquid Shadow in the shade Reverent. This is the most popular one that we have. Um, this one does sell out and come back in stock. Sell out, come back in stock. All of that back and forth. So this is literally so pretty. You can apply it with your fingers. You can apply it with the wand. You can apply it with the brush. I'm going to do a little bit of all of the above minus my fingers. Yes, I agree too, Lauren. I think that like um, the, the this summer is just on a whole nother playing field. Like I love being outside in the summer. Like, give me all the heat. Like, I'm the girl who gets into a hot car and thinks it feels good. Like, I'm weird, okay? Um, now, after a while, I'm like, all right, I'm dying. Turn on the air. But, like, at first, I think it's so satisfying. Anyways, I like the heat. I love it so much. But 
this summer has been different. I talked about that with my aunt too, because she's the same way. She loves the heat and loves the summer, loves to be in the water, by the pool, you know, the beach, whatever. Um, but this summer, you guys, I swear there's something different. I swear there is. All right. So that is reverent on my eyes, kind of messy. Yes, I will work on the links today. I've got a lot of stuff I've got to get done today. So, um, all right. Oh, if y'all did not see, Pink Lily is um, discounting all of their bathing suits 25% off. So if you have not looked at the link that I have attached to this live um, for Pink Lily, make sure you do so because 25% off all their swimwear and you can mix and match. So it's not like you buy a top and a bottom as a set. And as somebody who's a small on the bottom, but like a large on the top, I thoroughly appreciate that because I cannot stand when brands um, do sets. Like I'm not a small on the top. I couldn't be a small on the top if I tried. So um, I really appreciate that. So like they're 28 bucks normally, you're gonna get 25% off. Like it's insane. So definitely go check that out if you haven't already. I think y'all will find some really cute bathing suits. I'll link them in my story as well. So, all right, there is Reverent, so freaking pretty. And then now what I'm gonna do, just with whatever's left on this brush, is just kind of dust this out. So once again, I'm not even going in with a second layer. I wanna make this super easy. Actually, I might on that side. It looks like it just stops. <laughs> For some reason on camera, and it doesn't, it definitely looks a little softer than that, but we'll add a little bit more. And so notice you can just pop it right on. It's a little doe foot applicator, makes life super easy. And then, y'all, listen, I haven't made a TikTok in a hot minute, but I think me and Michaela are gonna make one. I don't know when, but we are, so stay tuned. But I saw some funny ones this morning, and I try not to get on the app in general just because it's a terrible rabbit hole. Um, but it was actually super funny today. I don't know why, but my feed was fantastic. My sister-in-law just responded to one that I sent her. It's pretty funny. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is pick up a tad, just a tad bit of agile, pretty much dust all of it off and just to dust out that edge. So pretty. And then I'm going to take the big fluffy brush. <gasps> Yay! Wait, are you in Mooresville? Or this area? You'll love it here if you are. Trust me. I love where I live. All right. Super, super pretty. Light and airy. I love it so much. All right. So, like I said, this is Reverent, the liquid shadow. So good. The press shadows were... Timid, hesitant, understood, and agile. So four of those. Yes. If y'all follow me on Instagram, I posted the Clemson one. I'm a Clemson fan. I've always pretty much been a Clemson fan. Um, but now my little cousin Harrison goes to Clemson. And so now it's like my whole family's diehard Clemson. Um, and then come to find out when I met my boyfriend, their family's diehard Clemson. So it's kind of exciting. And I love football season. I'm like so ready for football season like so ready. So, okay, let's do brows really quick. We're going to go in with the, oh, Morrisville. Okay. Okay. I'm on exit 33 near, um, actually, if you know where Lowe's corporate is, I'm right next to Lowe's corporate. Um, that's so fun. I love Morrisville. Love it. Yes, it is a rabbit hole. There is no doubt about it. It is a freaking rabbit hole. And then Usually what happens is I get like sucked in and after I see the same or hear like the same song for the third time, I'm like, okay, that's enough. All right, so we're gonna brush downwards. And then I am also using the brow pencil in the shade light, which you can tell if you're a little heavier handed, it's a little darker. So um, even if you're, you know, brunette, you can still pull off the light um, brow pencil. Now, if you have black hair and you're wanting super black brows, then, you know, but honestly, I like your brow. I like brows to be a little lighter. Um, if you have darker hair, I like your brows to be a little softer. Now, some people like their brows to be just as intense as their hair. Um, and that's fine. But I think that there's something to be said about more of a natural brow, to be honest. Like you can still 
shape it and do all the cool things with it. But I do think like color wise, there's something to be said. I do think it's pretty. Y'all, I miss Disney World so much. <laughs> like so much. I just thought of that. I don't know why. Okay. Super, super pretty there. So you can tell I'm definitely a little bit more glowy than usual because we do have on the BB cream. You can like literally see it on my forehead, um, which is usually not my style. Y'all know I'm like an all matte everything kind of girl, but I know that some people do enjoy kind of like that glowy look. Oh yeah, you're not far at all, at all. Okay, I don't know what it is. Shocker, 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 shocker. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and dust away. Uh, where is that brush? Here we go. We're gonna dust away um, any excess powder that we have hanging out on our face. And once again, if you're just hopping on, we did BB cream and pressed powder. So we definitely went for more of a medium coverage, kind of lightweight makeup look today. Um, super feminine eye look that is really easy to achieve. And remember right now, you guys, the entire website is up to 25% off. So if you grab three products, it's gonna discount them 15%. Um, Four is gonna be 20% and five is going to be 25%. And that is only, um, you're only able to get those discounts through Friday. So definitely make sure you um, jump on that because as of Saturday, everything on the website is completely changing. So we're gonna go in with Pearly, which is this more of a blush tone highlight. And I'm gonna keep it just Pearly today just because I think it's so pretty and feminine, you guys. With this makeup look, I think it's absolutely beautiful. So. Once again, we don't have on eyeliner or anything. I want to keep it just light and airy, but we are going to go in with the mascara trio that I have been like raving about you guys. This is the 40 Epic, the Epic Primer, and the regular Epic Mascara. So we're going to use all three of these. Um, you can get away with just using one of them. Well, at least two of them because the primer is a must, but honestly, I mean, I like the way that all three of them look. So I'm going to curl my lashes first. This is a basic curler that I got from, honestly, probably CVS. Um, I really don't know where it came from. CVS, Amazon, Walgreens, Walmart. I don't know. Probably not Walmart because I don't go to Walmart. It scares me. But, um, I, it came from one of those. So, what I'm going to do is go in. You can see I curled my lashes, but they're still, like, not there. So, we're going to go in with primer and prime those bad boys. So, if you've never used a lash primer, I highly recommend trying it. We do have a 14-day money-back guarantee. So, if you, for some reason, hate a product or you get something and it's not the right shade, you know, whatever the case may be, you can return it for a full refund. Um, after the 14 days, the refund does kind of start going down because the product will have been used for two weeks. Um, so definitely, definitely take advantage of that. You know, if you wanna try something, you know, a lot of people ask us, do we have samples? That is the best sample that I can give you is 14 days of using something full size to really see that if you like it or not. So definitely, definitely send me a message if you want to try something, if you need to be color matched, all the good things. Yeah, I'm a Target girl too. Um, Walmart, honestly, just, it scares me. I'm a germaphobe. I was a germaphobe before um, COVID-19. And Walmart, honestly, it just disgusts me, like on so many levels. And then the people of Walmart, like I try really hard not to judge. It's not my place to judge. That's Jesus's job on Judgment Day. But um, I, like, I, I can't. And, and honestly, people are just so rude and disrespectful. Like, I don't have time for it. Take me to Target, man. Except not the Target Hunters, though, where the rude lady is. If y'all remember right at the beginning of COVID, I was going to get some press on nails, and that lady told me to go shop somewhere else, and I could have throat punched her, but I didn't. If y'all don't follow me on Instagram, that's where the daily life stuff happens. I've been kind of um, slack on it recently, but I still try to update you guys on sales and stuff that are linked on my life to know it. So definitely make sure you follow me on Instagram. It's Sydney Sanders 33. Um, that is like where a lot of the other good stuff outside of makeup happens. So we're going to go in with the 40 Epic Mascara. Remember, this is the fiber infused mascara. So we're going to pop it right on top of that primer. And you don't have to let that primer dry. You can go right in on top of it, which is what I do. All right, so that's like one little baby coat. Okay, we had no lashes. Y'all saw, like when I did this just a minute ago, even before primer, there was nothing there. This is just primer. <laughs> and this is one little quick, one little quick quote of 
um, mascara. Now, I also use the lash serum every single night. And on no makeup days, I use it um, as well in the morning. So, and I don't know why I don't use it with my makeup. Honestly, it coats your lashes. And I just, I, I would rather my mascara, my primer stick to my lashes. Um, but, and I know your lashes soak it all in, but still. It's more of like a mind game for me. So, yeah, I know. I know. I, she made me mad. I mean, I'm not violent by any means. I wouldn't have actually done it, but I wanted to. I asked her for help and she told, asked me if I could give shop somewhere else because she was busy. And I was like, girl, girl, please go on somewhere. So, if you ever go to the Hunter Soul Target, she's a tall, older lady in the beauty section and she's just rude. And if she's watching this, I hope, honestly, well, that she learns her lesson. <laughs> All right. So, I can get very carried away with mascara because I don't naturally have lashes. So, I get really excited when mine grow. Um, when they really go from like night and day difference. It's so satisfying to me. Um, so, remember this is a fiber infused mascara. It is a one step system. You don't need like fiber a fiber tube and a transplant gel and go back and forth. So that is um, 40 Epic and primer. So good. And then we're going to go in with the regular Epic on my lower lashes. You can totally use the 40 on your lower lashes if you prefer. Um, honestly, with the lash serum, my lower lashes have gotten so long that I don't really need any extra length. Or And I definitely, I'm not a big volume fan on my lower lashes, to be honest with you. I really just want the lengthening and the separating, which is what the regular Epic will do. So... I usually just go in with regular Epic on my lower lashes. But if you're balling on a budget and you can only grab one mascara, grab the 4D. I love it so much. And honestly, this one by itself with the primer works real good. It clearly works great by itself. I did not prime my lower lashes. And you can see we have like life to them. All right, so I'm going to pick up a little bit more of this and go in on my uppers. And what I do with this is kind of just make sure that we're good encoded and separated. Um... The 40 formula is a little thicker because it is fiber infused. So I always go in with this one just to make sure that we're separated. We don't look clumpy or chunky or anything like that. Um, honestly, it's just one of those weird like OCD things that I do. You don't really need to do this, but I do. Um, I also have one eyelash that likes to like hang out straight down. So I try to curve her back around. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is look up really quick to see what lip combo we should do. Um, oh, Hottie Lip Plumper, you guys. Hottie Lip Plumper is coming back in stock on Friday, okay? I don't know if it's 9 a.m. Eastern, I think it's 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 12 a.m., 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will post about it so you guys can get it, um, but it is coming back in stock, and y'all know Hottie Lip Plumper is like the bomb.com. Um, I have the original unique with the fibers and I, I put it down. Yes, the fibers used to flake. They did used to flake. Um, and so what was funny is I would always go back to, and I believe I still have it. I, I literally don't use it. Um, the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. The wand on here. Okay. That right there, it literally just crumbled all over. Yeah, I can't. This is why I don't use this mascara anymore. Um, the Better Than Sex Mascara is great, but it flakes on your face. And it makes me angry. Because if you feel something on your face and you go to wipe it away, it then smears black mascara all over your face. Okay? The 4D does not do that. Like, honestly, I'm not just saying that. It does not do that. Um, Better Than Sex is honestly one of my favorite formulas ever, but it flakes on my face. Makes me freaking angry. So, you, if you want to compare the wands, you can see they are almost identical. The only difference with this is that the fibers, not the fibers, the little wand hairs are all the same length, but the wand is cinched in the middle, whereas the 40 Epic, all the little hairs are different lengths throughout. So you're getting to me a better coat with this than you are this. No matter like this one, I feel like you have to be a little bit more precise on where you hold it to what wand, what part of the wand hits your lashes. And on the 4D, it's just so consistent throughout that no matter what part of the wand hits your lashes, it's doing its job. Um, which is why I really, really enjoy the way that this wand was made. I think it's fantastic, very innovative. Um, you know, this is it's good, but it, it's definitely not 4D at all. Yeah, I know. I'm letting it dry <laughs> before I dust it all off. 
yeah, I mean, I, I used to love it, honestly. Um, and, and I want to love it because I'm a makeup lover and, you know, I don't bash other brands by any means. But it literally flakes on your face and it makes me so mad. So mad. All right, let me take a look really quick at what we got going on here. Let me go back here. All right, so we're gonna go in with, da, 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 let me grab some lipsticks here. Um, we're gonna go in with Subtle. I really need to place an order today, you guys, like so bad, so bad. Where is Pouty? I really wanna use just Pouty today. Um, I know it's not available, but you know what? Let's do this. Let's do, da, 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 da. let's do Purposeful. Uh, no, no, Pompous. Let's do Pompous uh, or Purposeful. Now I'm going to do pompous. Um, all right, so this is that like purpley one that we used the other day. It's super, super pretty. I am going to sharpen it. This liner has seen its better day, you guys. Thank you. The earrings are from Plunder, you guys. I um will actually have my girl. What I'll do is I'll have her link her link. I think they're only like 12 bucks. Like so freaking cute. And I love how the pearls are like evenly separated. I've got some where the pearls, and they're from Plunder too, um, are like wrapped around and they're so pretty, but they're definitely a heavier look. Um, I love Plunder, you guys. I love them so much. So I will have, um, I'll have my girl tag her link. So we're going to go in with, what is, what did I say this was? Pompous lip liner. And because I messed this up, it does not sharpen right. All right. And also, you guys, we talked about uh, me doing a vlog channel. I do have a vlog channel on Facebook now. There is one vlog uploaded. It was from a long time ago. Uh, but I could never get it to upload. And I was determined to get it to upload. Okay, so that is pompous. Took me a little longer. This is literally what I'm working with, you guys. It will not sharpen right. I broke it. It's a disaster. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go in with Subtle. just like that. So now that I have subtle on, I'm going to go in my nose ridges with my liner again, which is going to be difficult because it's like broken. It's a dead skin. Cute. Okay, so that is the lip combo. I think it's absolutely beautiful and it's such a pretty nude. Like I said, this is subtle and pompous. Both of them are in stock right now. So definitely go snatch them up because subtle will go on back order. Oh, you're doing so good at exercising. Um, it will go on back order for sure. And then once the lip liners are gone, as far as I know, they are going to be gone for good. So, um, I actually, are they keeping some of them? I can't keep up. No, I can't keep up, but, um, definitely go grab them. I think they're absolutely beautiful, but I really like how this turned out. Once again, this is BB cream with pressed powder. And we use a little bit of stick foundation as concealer, which I think is super pretty. So it is more of a medium coverage. You can see it's not completely flawless, but sometimes we don't really need a full coverage makeup look. So I have some breakout. Well, there is one breakout right there. You can see it. Um, and one right there. Um, so you can see it's definitely more medium coverage, but I know not everybody likes the full coverage 
of the, you know, the liquid touch with the stick and the pressed powder. Like I get that that can be heavy. So I definitely wanted to do an alternative for you guys, but I absolutely love the coverage. I think it's beautiful. It's definitely more of a natural finish. So if you're looking for more of a natural finish makeup look, this is going to be it. If you are oily, you can still pull off the BB cream and pressed powder as long as you pair it with the, um, oh, I didn't spray my face, um, the matte primer. So, and then once again, you always want to do setting spray because you can never go wrong with it. So, I don't like wet eyelashes, but here we are. Um, so, that is it for today, you guys. I am going to sit down crank out some work for you guys. Um, once again, I did post a couple sale items on Like to Know It. So if y'all want to go over there and shop, there's like some 50% off sales that I posted this morning um, that you guys are probably going to want to go snatch up. Um, but once again, I did have this tool linked in the description of this video. It is the Forever Young Hot and Cold Facial Rejuvenation Wand, and it is so good. So if you guys have any questions on anything, please feel free to shoot me a message. Oh, $9 hair care from Lange. Uh, where is my Lange stuff? I said it somewhere. Maybe it's in, it's in there. It is. It's in my guest bathroom. Um, $9 hair care. The code hair nine is only going to be available through Friday. So if you're wanting hair care for only nine bucks through launch, um, you can get a lot of their best sellers and select hair care for only $9 a piece. So definitely make sure you go check that out. The link is in my bio as well. If you have any questions, shoot me a message. Other than that, I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.